Live in like three, two. Maybe a little longer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Long Dark. I'm Unite the Clans. Uh, today we're going to be attempting a 24 hour speed run of the Hopeless Rescue Challenge. If you watch me do it, it'll be uncut. This is a live stream originally, uh, so I'll be catching up with the people in chat, but you'll be able to see how I do it, hopefully, within 24 hours. I'm just going to quickly show you this. I've done it twice under that time, once at 23 hours 59 minutes and once at 23 hours 1 minute. So it's totally doable. Uh, I've done the challenge and finished it maybe 10 or 12, maybe finished the challenge 10 times, something like that at the most. Um, but played it lots and uh, have sharpened my skills. Uh, I also have a friend who has been playing and sharpening his skills. That's my friend Dynamic D. He's Pego Studios on Twitch.tv. Uh, and he's going to be hanging out in voice chat for the first half of the challenge, helping me to not make any mistakes. Um, before I say hi to him, let's just click confirm and go and start the challenge. And while it's loading, we'll say hi. Hey, buddy. What's up, man? Okay. I see Travis over there saying we have audio. Do you see video for the stream yet? I do. I do. Yeah, okay. I do. Life is good. All right. So if you're catching this as a replay, it's point A. You start in Mystery Lake. You travel across Pleasant Valley to Timberwolf Mountain to the top of Timberwolf Mountain, and you grab a flare pistol. You come back down across Pleasant Timberwolf, across Pleasant Valley, through the coastal highway to Desolation Point, and you fire it off. you got to do that in 24 hours the way we're playing. Here is our starting point, and we got to just see where we are and what we've got. Okay. And one of the biggest ways you and I have both function to make ourselves faster at this is uh, cutting down the time we spend indoors looting buildings. Yeah. So, so that is on the goal right now. All right, so I've been experimenting, all right? And uh, I've seen that if you do filing cabinets, only do the second drawer from the top. So not the top one, but the mm -hmm. one just underneath that one, because in all the other ones, they're almost always empty or don't have very good loot. Okay. So, Believe it or not, can, yeah. uh, believe it or not, I uh, will leave that. Uh, locker is locked. We're not going for the safe. We'll grab this MRE. We'll leave the canned food. And that's it for us, guys. We're good to go. Out the door. Med kit. I didn't get what I needed from it. So we're looking for, on our way to the summit, we're looking for two tins of coffee, which will give us 10 cups of coffee. And we're looking for a minimum of three stim sticks. And that's like an amphetamine shot to the chest. And it lets you climb ropes even when you're exhausted or injured, which is what we might need to do if we're going to complete this challenge. So uh, now we begin, we switch from looter mode, the trapper's cabin there, to hiker mode, runner mode. And we try and get from point A to point B uh, of this first chunk of the journey. And that means um, working our way up here, we go past Max's last stand to the derail, the end of the rail line. We search the med kits and gear there, and then we work our way to the camp office, which is our first chance to get warmer clothing. I didn't get really any good warm clothing. Started with a sweater. <laughs> hey, that's good. And two, more than, uh, two scarves. Yeah. Oh, that's good as well. That'll keep you a little bit warmer. Long johns? No long johns? Uh, yeah, basic. One pair. Yeah, it's still one, yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, hello, Trey. Welcome to the stream. Like and sub. Is that what you're saying? And then Wojtek has a question. What's up, my friend? Ask away. I shouldn't get too distracted here. Uh, we had... Uh, Travis, Uber, and yourself all here early waiting for this thing to start while I brewed up coffee, which I now have. Awesome. We got 10 live viewers. Welcome, people. Um, I hope you get some good stuff, man. I thought uh, the med kits. Yep. That's key. That is very key. Well, you, you we, we've been racing each other at this. That's kind of how we got good guys. <laughs> We're not the best. There's guys who completed it very, very fast. The real key would be if I got a crazy amount of stims, I could really crush that back half of the journey. 
like like yesterday. I could have could have been a could have been an amazing run. But let's not talk about it. I don't want to talk about it yesterday. No, 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 no. Don't don't talk about that run, alright? You planned Wildlands you played Wildlands Fears now. There's was a big update. Will you give it a try again? Uh, I okay. Uh, to be honest, I have one series back in like 2016 when the game was new. Uh, those mittens are good. Uh, but I really liked it when I played Islands. Uh, and obviously there's two ways to pronounce it. I like to say Islands. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great game. It's changed a lot since the last time I played it. But, um, that's a wolf, by the way, guys. We're gonna try our best to avoid him. We only have one flare. That's not good, having one flare and then a wolf, no revolver. No, I, so... Yeah. There's a chance the revolver at the start. I never take it. I like to just know my strategy when I see a wolf, and it's flare. Use a flare, keep your distance. Yeah. I don't want to have to scramble and go, what, what am I doing? Do, gun, what do I have? I want to know. <laughs> and besides, I can yeah. I can dodge him. Do you see what I did? You'll see it in a second. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good yeah, stuff. That one wasn't that far away. That one was pretty far away, so that's very good. But I mean, having one flare, and if you would have had to use it on him, uh, you know, it might have burnt out when you get to the derailment, where there might be multiple mm -hmm. wolves. So it'll be, yeah. I feel a little more comfortable yeah. now. If I see anything between now and the next chance to grab a flare, we're good. Um, so if you're thinking about strategy, guys, I like to stop at this camp office. So you can see I'm not very cold. So we're not going to spend a lot of time in there, but we are going to... One, grab three to four empty cans. That's a big part of my strategy, so we can cook coffee in mega batches. We'll also look to see if we can grab a little bit of accelerant and tinder for the next fire we start, which won't be for a long time if all goes well. Um, and then we'll jump upstairs. There will be um, painkillers, maybe, and then a chance at some uh, warm clothes or shoes. So that's our immediate plan. And there is one med kit in this place, and also a chance of coffee which are two of our primary goals, along with the cans to cook the coffee. So let's check and see. Most of the tools are superfluous. I like the, to have the pry bar uh, and a knife, but beyond that... Oh, one stim! All right, good start. That's an awesome start, actually. One stim art uh, getting in there, yeah. Yeah. definitely good. Okay, we'll grab a few stacks of these papers here, because this is just such an easy way to do it. No coffee here. No coffee. You want me to check the second filing cabinet from the top? Yeah. Okay. We'll be trying this this time, guys. Okay. And we got to get as many recycled cans as we can here. I think I need to poke my head back in here and I will find one more. And is there one back here as well? No. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we have two upstairs. We have one right here. And... One right by the stove, usually. Okay, so we now have five of our six cans. Good start. We'll check the three containers here. We've got wool mitts. Okay. Drop these old fleeces, and we'll put on these nice wool ones. And we're hoping for a coat in one of these two drawers. Another sweater. Can't complain. Snow pants would be lovely. Or a coat. And another sweater. I have got an embarrassment of sweater riches. <laughs> uh, at the uh, at the dam in one uh, in the in one of the huts, there's also a big chance of finding a coat. So. Yep. Also, if I hit up if I do find a pry bar and I decide to hit up lockers, that's a guarantee. Yeah. So we get out of here, guys, as fast as we can. Hopefully, an hour and a half has expired at the most. We'll check our in-game clock of our 24 hours. We have used uh, one hour, 25 minutes. <clears throat> All right. That's so uh, yeah. this is right on my pace. I've now got a little cheat sheet for my 23 hour run next to me. So I can make sure I'm not falling behind. Any wolves on the tracks up ahead? No, we look good. So now we head for the, oh, the backside of that derailment. And there, there is another med kit, maybe. And two flares, maybe. So we just got to see what generate what generated there for us luck-wise this time. We'll grab it all and then we'll make a beeline for the river. 
We'll cross the river and head up into one of two trailers outside the Carter Hydro Dam. So, I see that you only do the right one. The left one does have a chance for a first aid kit. So oh. If you just, uh, so what I've been doing is popping in there, looking to the left on that bookshelf to see if it's there. If it's not there, I'll just go right back out because I, there's nothing I wonder, really do, worth getting there. Do you ever get coffee in the second one? No, right? But I do get coffee in the first one, though, yes. so it's beside yep. the bookshelf where the, uh, where the first aid kit spawns. So that's... That that was key for me to keep on checking there because the so, last few times I have found a can of coffee. So. so sorry, the one that I wasn't checking has coffee or no? Yeah, it's, it's the one we're not checking has a first has a chance for first aid kit and coffee. Okay, well we'll check it this time. What? How big yeah. a how big a time sink could that be for a speed demon like me? Uh, no, 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 not not a whole lot. Because I mean, if you check there and there's no first aid kit and you just run to the back, check the check beside the bookshelf. If it's not there, you're back out again. So okay. It's, Cool, cool. I think it'll be, it, it might take it might take like five minutes in game something like that so it's not a huge loss that you're losing but a, a potential big win for coffee so once if you, you can find yeah no that's I, I'm in once you go past the derailment there guys those two red train cars you can look and see this yellow one you want to go to the right of it you can go on either side of this big rock but we're gonna make our way down to the river these train tracks are usually littered with a three pack of wolves somewhere between here and the dam. Uh, and we want to avoid them. We won't necessarily do it, but if we take the river, there'll be a four pack of gentle prancing deer, and that's much easier for us. So we'll do that. <laughs> much less dangerous. Mm hmm. The deer. See, there's our wolf pack right there, guys. Triple wolf pack. We want to avoid that. Now, I've got two flares. I could just light one and get past them. Oh, he saw me anyway, so. But I'm going to not light a flare. I'm going to try and lead him into the deer. I don't see any deer. But you'll get to see, DD, how if you keep moving, you don't have to be too terribly afraid of these things. No, no. I would normally have just, uh, if I, so if I get the pistol to rifle, I'd normally just fire a shot in their general direction and scare them off a little bit. Now, but, when you have a yeah, tight... I, I, know that if you keep, I know if you keep moving, they won't catch up to you. When you have a Watch out by the, uh, by the uh, houses up here at the top. Uh -huh. have to watch out because there's a big chance of a wolf there as well. I've encountered them the last few times uh -huh. where I wanted to just get in the house and I just, I was just too late, so. Okay. Now, once he's on me, this rock throwing technique is pointless, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I just tried it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to save our flare, guys. There's just one of them. There's supposed to be a bunch of deer down here and he's supposed to get distracted and eat one of them instead of me. But uh, that's not happening today. So if I get, I'm going to save a little sprint. I'll try and make as big a distance on him before I enter the trailer. Then by the time I come out, hopefully he's gone. <clears throat> okay, let's use our sprint right here. And, oh, there's the other guy. Okay. So we'll just light a flare immediately upon our exit and we'll use it to light our way through the dam. We'll find one in one of these two. So... Nomad kit, and where's the coffee possibility in this place? Uh, on the left, on the left side of the bookshelves. Okay. Uh, between the bookshelf and the crate, basically. So it's a little bit hidden. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. No luck. Okay. Well, no med kit. No out. nothing. Let's go. No. Oh, I should have looked. Those are the only two things I check for. So. Let's just sprint right across to the other one. We're dodging double wolves right now, guys. Ooh, that sounded a scary noise. Ooh. <laughs> You'll hear it in a second. Oh, buddy. Uh, okay. Med kit in here, guys. Energy bar. Okay, let's light up a flare. We're going to use it anyway on our way out. So we'll just make sure we don't miss anything here. And here's a light shell coat, which will keep us nice and wind protected. And we'll check for coffee here. No coffee. This is where it would be. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's leave it. And out we go, guys. Into the hydro dam, and we got to be quick there too. Oh, he's right on top of me. Uh huh. You can't get through my gate. <laughs> All is well, my friend. Don't stress. 
No, I'm just watching it on the stream right now. So yeah, it's, <laughs> um, I'm a little bit behind, but yeah. I uh, my internet speed is nice and fast today, but yesterday when we streamed, it was really spotty, and so I didn't yeah. want to try and attempt the old screen share and simul stream. Basically, no. double a stream, no. right? Yeah. Oh, no, look what I found. Longa Jones. Okay, so we don't have a pry bar. If we want to open lockers, the first place we should check is in here, and you will get a pry bar about half the time. You can also check for a stim on this shelf, and you can get better shoes or a coat here, which we're going to switch to the trail boots and drop our old sneakers, mainly because they're in terrible condition. We'll take Dee Dee's advice and we'll search the second filing cabinet from the top. Okay, and that's it. We're out of this room, and now we decide which lockers to open. Uh, we've got a few. We're going to go check a medical locker upstairs back in this place. And I feel like we're making good time, so I might spend some time opening uh, lockers up here. Just Don't forget to uh, check the bathroom for pants. Uh, good call. On the way down. So. Will do. No need, if you have already found coffee, guys, grab some water here, uh, because, uh, it, uh, you'll want it for brewing coffee. So, we're just gonna switch out some of this gear here. Alright, we'll check, there are, th uh, I think six total walkers up in this place, so, if you're so inclined, go ahead and check. I feel like there should be coffee in this room. There's a coffee machine. Uh, you'll you'll see in one sec, but yeah, every once in a while you'll find it in that filing cabinet that I was talking about in the back office. You'll uh -huh. find it in there sometimes, but I've, it's very rare. Okay, well, no luck with this second second drawer technique, but I I, I believe it. Mm. I've watched th that guy do it in that fast run you sent me. Yeah. Okay, that was not worth yeah. the detour, guys. Now we get out. We'll scan a few more lockers on our way down. We'll check for some pants. Okay, here's the bathroom. We'll check these two. Ah, a nice coda. We're in good shape. That's what I was hoping for. And we're not quite all the way warm, so putting this on now is beneficial. There are often nice pants right here. And we just got jeans, so we're going to leave them. O'Reilly is saying, survive, you fool! Survive! Uh, yeah, a rally just notified me they're doing a death run today on one of the servers, so I'm gonna try and join later today. Oh. Alright, and we got our first winter hat. Alright. A uh, little accelerant, can't hurt, I'll grab that. You're much, uh, more brutal in your move through this place than me. Not brutal, but like, uh, brutally efficient. Yeah, yeah. I don't search as uh, as much as you do. I so just... I have started, I have started doing that one. If I don't get good loot in the starting base and uh, basically up until this point, then I might yep. search a little bit more. We get a stim. Uh, but going upstairs. Oh, there you go. Going upstairs for the uh, for the for the first aid. I, I rarely ever do that anymore because it's just I don't think it's just worth it. So, but that's a different place now. So. Well, yeah. You gotta you gotta stay f flexible, right? Because. Yeah. It depends on what you've already found. If you haven't found any stims at this point, yeah, you... no, then I will. Yeah. 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 We well, yeah. that's kind of the real key, right? Because the, the uh, we've gotta gotta kind of adjust to the rolls of the dice, right? Because we're gonna get some random ones. So now we go down. We don't spend any time here, guys. We go down and across. And before I leave this place, hopefully my flare holds up. But if not, it just needs to make it to this doorway. Hold on, one got to light a match. Where the heck am I? Okay, here we go. This doorway, and we'll pick up this lantern here for the last little chunk of the trip, because it's dark in here. There should be a lantern right here, and we'll grab it. Let's see what you got for me, buddy. Probably nothing. Nothing. All right. And light it up. Okay. Down here we got a microwave. There's almost never anything in it, but if you did find one cup of coffee, it would be a big benefit. Yeah, game changer. There ain't find coffee there. 
to keep up that energy. Stamina. Oh, nice, nice big heavy scarf. And an energy drink in this locker. There you go. Oh. There you go, yeah. So we're at two stims and an energy drink. Feeling pretty it's good. Your three. Yeah, it's potentially your three stims right there. So we yeah. get up that thing. We'll check this real quick okay. and then... Okay, then we stop right here, guys. This is a one-way door, so if you're ever going to do some inventory management, might as well do it right now. We start with our clothing, and we'll put on the warmest stuff we've got. Which is this combo. Uh, that's it for clothing, okay? And then I picked up a bunch of water and soft drinks we don't need. So we're going to drop this lantern. We don't need it. We're going to drink a couple soft drinks. Whatever it'll let us here. Two. We're going to drop the others. And this one item of canned food I must have started with. I'm going to drop all this water. If we need to brew coffee later, we can find the water for it. And we'll eat a little bit more. And I started with one cup of coffee. I didn't know that was in there. Oh my. Okay, let's drink it. Uh, no, let's save it. Let's save it. Let's say, yeah, uh, because you're, you're good on weight, so yeah, you can definitely save it for now. So, what I'm going to do here, my friend, outside the hydro dam, is go the long way. Uh, Jay Brown's is saying, hey, see, happy new year to you, sir. Big fan of your art building vids. Uh, loving the long dark journey. Thanks. Well, thank you, Jay Browns. Happy New Year to you. More building at some point in the future. I know that's kind of what Travis was... Was it Travis who was asking about islands? Wojtek. Uh, no, no, Wojtek, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take the long way down, guys. Last time we streamed together, I took a path up and over the top. DD informs me that's a bit of a... Uh, it's, it's called pixel walking, where you, uh, where the game registers that you can walk there, but there's nothing underneath your feet. So it's a little bit, I can't say it's a bug or a glitch, but it's, yeah, it's but we're gonna, not considered an official speed run. We're, so. we're going to accomplish a 24-hour speed run, and we're going to follow all the rules. So I'm going to take the long way, which is this way, and then to the right. Otherwise, we'd be just zipping over the top of that mountain and cutting this whole chunk of the journey out. But there's no need. If I can finish, if I can do the pace that I've done in my last couple successful runs, we can afford the 40 extra minutes. We'll get a, actually a good test, my friend. We'll see. I'm yeah. basically right on track. I think I am. I think I, I'm, I maybe spent a little too long inside that dam this time. Yeah, but it did pay off because you did get warmer gear, so. Yeah. I mean. I'd have three arrows down if it wasn't for the, the stuff yeah, we yeah, found. Yeah, because you're on one, two, so it's flashing a little bit. So yeah. It's, yeah, I think you're good. You're, you're good. Yeah. It'll pay off in the long run, I think. So our goal, guys, is to keep our heart bar, which is at the very bottom there, near full all the way to the top of the mountain, at which point we can begin spending it like currency in a sprint to the finish. But uh, we don't want to make too many mistakes on our way up the mountain and lower that health bar. So it does not begin to go down until you hit one of those four indicators in the red. We will never let food or water get in the red, so for us it's really about temperature and energy. And at this point, I'm going to run out of energy before I get cold, because we've now got decent gear. So uh, we are really hoping for coffee on our upcoming phase to keep that bar from the red. But if it does stay red, yeah. we stay light. I'm under 14 pounds, kilos right now, which means oh, even if go. I'm exhausted, I can keep moving. And that's with a piece of wood in my inventory, so. Yeah, that's key. Yeah. Yeah, and then you still have the cup of coffee as well because you didn't yep. drink it yet. That's uh, so I think you'll probably have to drink that one when you exit the cave, probably because mm -hmm. you'll probably be low on energy at that point. And then yeah, and then if you get that cup of coffee, or you can brew up maybe one cup in the dam or whatever to just to get that boost if you find one. Yeah, yeah. That, that's key. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Radio Hut. Is that what you meant? Uh, no. So if you find coffee and you already have water on you. And you're thinking, okay, my stamina's looking a bit low. You might just want to take that little bit of extra time to brew up a one cup yep. at the uh, uh, at the at the hydro dam, just yeah, to totally. make sure that you have enough stamina to make it to the uh, radio uh, radio hut. So yeah, we got lucky. We got a bonus coffee cup. Sometimes you start yeah. with one. It's a random luck of the draw. I've never started with a random cup of coffee before, so, so that's something I talk about. Yeah, this is how this you is get. Your time, I believe, something like that. 
So follow my uh, follow my path through this cave, guys. But it's not you won't get lost too easily in here. We end up on this uh, log bridge, not log bridge, plank bridge, and then we're pretty much out. This is a short little transition cave. And then we rush to the radio control hut. And that's our one of our key points in the journey. Coffee and a stim, if we're lucky. It'll be uh, huge, yeah. I have not had good coffee, luck. Definitely. I had not had good luck finding coffee at the farmhouse lately. No. I think I got lucky a few runs ago that I found like two tins of coffee there, and I found one at the. Uh, at the dam, and I was like, oh man, I swear I had three three pots of coffee, and I didn't have enough water, so I just took the coffee with me. Okay. Brewed up as much as I could, but yeah. Yeah, it was, it was brutal, but I didn't have any stims. So, so it was, I think it's, yeah. Here's where we drink that cup of coffee, guys. We will get, check my energy bar, a nice little boost. We're going to do some sprinting here, because we're not far from the potential of more coffee. And if we're going to be making an exhausted journey, so be it. But we'll do it, uh, We'll do it by sprinting when we can. We got a lot of big, lazy uphills on this next chunk of the journey. We're now in Pleasant Valley, and we make two, three stops here. Um, and all of them are rich in loot. So if you haven't found good clothing by now, and you're freezing, don't worry. There's good clothing up ahead. And we've gotten lucky with weather. Uh, it will be daylight when we finish this challenge but we've got a good eight hours of night to get through so but be ascending the mountain in at, at daybreak if all goes well, well hello lie lie saying how you'd seen yeah people. welcome lie long time geek to you and they started even calling me pego yeah <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Get any of your people call you by your real name? Do they know it? Uh, some of the people do. Some okay. of them do, but it's not, uh, a, most it's people, not a secret. I, I just I mean. call, no, no, no. Either, um, either they call me D, 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 or Pego. Okay. Or, yeah. Which I'm all cool with. Doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked in at this point. I don't know that I can change. So if you have bad conditions, guys. Get on this road and follow it all the way up. It curves up and around like this, but we're just going to take a more direct path because we can see where we're going. And we're using whatever sprint we have. We just need to get to this next location. Hopefully, there will be coffee at it. Sometimes you get bum luck and there's herbal tea instead, which doesn't help in a no-sleep oh. challenge. But fingers crossed, there's a big tin of coffee, some stims, and maybe even a parka waiting for us up here with some nice snow pants under the bed. I can dream of it. <laughs> yeah, it's either snow pants or combat pants is what I've seen I'll a lot, take so. either one. I got, a, I, got, I got some crappy combat pants under my... I don't know what I have now. What do I have? Cargo pants and jeans. Yeah, so this is where we also differ in our runs because there's, a, I think it's a guarantee that you get the revolver up here. I think that's always there. Yep. A revolver with some ammo, and I always do take it. I end up dropping it later on, but I do mm -hmm. keep on taking it. I keep it with me as long as I can, and you're the guy that just leaves it there and goes for the flare options. Well, instead, so I will tell you, if there, yeah. if there are no flares in this place, I might have to grab it because I'm down to one. After, ooh, yeah. down to one. So, uh... When, once we go in, guys, there should be a lantern on our right here somewhere. I might have to light a match to find it. We'll see how dark it is in here. Should have kept my flare on me for a second longer. Uh, here's a lantern, so we'll grab that. I tend to only use lanterns indoors, so I'll grab them from the place I find them, put them to good use, and then uh, drop them before we hit the road because it's dead weight. So, chance of a stim and a med kit right here. We didn't get either. So, we'll have to be hoping for a med kit at the, or a stim from the farm. The question is, are we also waiting for coffee, or did we get some coffee? We're waiting for coffee. No luck this time. No, wow, what a bad draw. 
No coffee either? No coffee, no Oof. stim, unless there's one under this bed. That's another spot. No, no pants under the bed. Oh, man. No coat, no MRE, nothing. What a... Jeez, oh, that's... Yeah, that's... What a bum deal. Man. We gotta... You might want to think about taking the big boots, though, that were in the... Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> I know they're. I know they don't. I know they slow you down, but they're warm, right? And I, since you haven't had the blizzard yet, it... I I get the logic. I ca yeah. I kind of tried to argue that for you last time we played, that it might yeah, be worth it. A little bit. But um, I think, I think these are in very good condition, and these are not in the best condition. So I think we'll roll with what we got. We have an MRE mm -hmm. on us, so we'll use that. Uh, three stims. I, I'm just do do a quick manage of my inventory before we hit the road here, guys. We don't have to make coffee here, so we don't need any water. I'll leave that one that's there. I'm gonna drop this lantern. We're at five tins. We'll find a sixth one inside and hopefully some coffee at our next location. I didn't yeah, find coffee's any. Coffee's gonna be key there. I didn't coffee will be key there. Yeah. I didn't find any flares. I didn't grab the revolver. Okay. We'll just have to be safe. If you do find coffee, guys, brew it right here. Brew yourself two cups and get yourself down the mountain to the to the farm. Yeah, so if you, if you don't have coffee on you from the dam, what I would suggest is lighting the fire when you're outside. Uh, just always light that fire. And what you can do is, uh, if you do have coffee on you, um, or if you don't have coffee, if you do have if you don't have coffee on you, go inside, check if there's coffee, grab the coffee, run back outside. So it takes a little bit longer to do. But that way you can uh, brew two cups of coffee, go inside, loot up the place, come back out, and the coffee's done. Ah, genius. So it's, it's just a, um, a time-saving method so you, you, so you don't have to wait around for a few minutes uh, waiting for the, uh, the coffee to finish brewing. And if you look at us, guys, we're not cold right now, so we wouldn't need to stand in front of the fire to warm up just to make it to our next location. It's right here. We should not get lost. We follow, come down that path I took, find this hydro line, and follow it all the way to the farmhouse, basically. Yeah, this and this is where you're more efficient than I am because uh, I would end up uh, having um, uh, jumped down or whatever, or fallen down, and uh, yeah. would have lost some of my health bar. So that's that's where your uh, this is where your genius pops in. That so. that particular chunk I know well enough now. I just boom, yeah. boom, boom, and then I get to sprint the final chunk of it anyway. <clears throat> All right, guys. So don't follow this hydro line directly. Just kind of stay in between the the last pole and the next pole because it zigs back and forth across the road. And I know it's hard to see if you're watching us live. We got 13 live viewers. Hello to all and a happy new year to you. Uh, but uh, that's just the challenge of this game. We got night and fog right now. So my dog's making a lot of noise for the morning. Can you hear him back yeah, there? Chopper, I don't think Chopper likes you streaming. Mm. <laughs> I closed the door to the room that he likes to sleep in. Ah. Uh, because I'm trying to keep different parts of the house warm, and he's like, he just wants to go to his room. Yeah. Oh, you got some heavy fog. Heavy. That's all right. Yeah. We'll be efficient in this place, guys. We don't need to search for much. We need to search. There are four possible med kits in here that might give us a stim and a small chance at coffee. So our first step is coffee. If we don't find it, we don't need to even light a fire here, and all those extra flares I brought with us are point... or all those extra cans I've been saving up are pointless. Uh, there should be one here, but I don't see one. But there's always a pot, so you could brew coffee here if you found it. This is one place for it. And... right over here... On this back shelf is one place for it, but no luck. Also, no med kit here in the office. So, Ubersmith saying is, wow, denied his napping location? Question mark. Yeah, I thought he would just nap in this office with me. Oh, a cup, random cup of coffee on the desk. I'll take that. Oh. But no pots of coffee. And now we just need to be efficient. We need to check the other three, the other two med kits on the upstairs. And we're just going to do it on match power. Apologies. So we got a med kit here. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for weaklings. In this what challenge, it certainly is. There's a nice coat. I'm just going to grab it. We'll poke. Uh, don't even poke your heads in that end of that place. 
the warm clothes back there if you need them, guys. Uh, and I think I have to check the ma the main floor bathroom here for a med kit. This is going handy. No stims, and now we just do the basement. This is the least time I'll ever have spent here. Normally, I brew up like ten cups of coffee. Here, I'll have found two tins of coffee, and I'll brew up all of it. But yeah, make sure you check the back wall where those shelves are. For a stim? The workbench. No, for, uh, for a can of coffee. They, sometimes they're down there as well. So Very rarely, but I've seen them down there. Okay, no stims from the farmhouse or the... Wow. Or coffee. That's not a... You're not in your favor, man. No. The coffee and the coffee gods are not shining down upon you. Nobody needs this anymore. Although we did just get some awesome windproof gloves. That's really good. Okay. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, guys, we could check here. Check for warm clothing. Socks. How's our socks? We could use an extra pair of socks. So let's just check the washer dryer. Yeah, see? And nice pants. Leave it. Okay. And now we make our way to the exit and do a little... New gauntlets as well. Wow. Yep. New combat pants as well. Or uh, work pants. Oof. There you go. I don't have a lot of matches either. Okay. We got to be careful. Okay. All right, guys. Here we check our inventory real quick and we drop anything we're not keeping. So we've got this. Not in great condition. So we're going to drop it and we decide between these two. Um, Travis saying, I appreciate that you guys are coaching each other despite this being a competition. Well, the competition ended last night. Yeah. With and I'm going to spoil it for you guys. I have been crowned king of the challenge 2020 so far. So Yeah, we got him. That's got during him. the live streams, right? Not, not during videos and so that because he's been faster. He recorded it. I know that. So I'm not going to spoil it there. But what did yeah. I do? There we go. I got to find some matches, buddy. But with us... But with us streaming, it's been, uh, yeah, I've, I've won the stream battles so for this year. So Okay, guys, we are now outside. It says we are overweight. Maybe. How do we get back underweight here? I thought I had managed it. Uh, drop this piece of wood. Okay. We, this was the spot we were going to make a fire. If you get the opportunity, there's a six burner stove in that place and you can brew six cups of coffee at a time very efficient come out from the house facing the silo and then go roughly in this direction you're gonna find a river and that will be your guide from here on out pretty soon we are gonna start losing health uh, because we are exhausted we were counting on coffee to fuel this chunk of the journey and it seems like we're gonna have to make it without that we also didn't get all the stims we wanted we were hoping for three at least, and we found two in an energy drink. And an energy drink, it'll work, but not as good. It means... Yeah, you're going to have to check, uh, check the plane for that one, the nose of the plane. Really? Really, man, I need another because... Um, yeah. I'm going to use the energy drink to get out of this region, and then I'll have three ropes and only two stems and no way to regen my... my health without coffee. Or my... A stamina without coffee so i need luck yeah. find this river. Yeah, so, sorry go ahead oh no 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 yeah so no that's the that's the one thing i was about to say was uh we i really didn't even know about that one until i watched one of the speedrunners and he ran in there and he found a stim and i was like oh wow okay so there's a chance of a stim there as well in that version of the game so i checked it myself and i found a stim the next time i found a stim and an energy drink and one of the last times I ran through there, I found just an energy drink, which was still key because it's 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 an extra stimulants to get up one of the ropes. So it's yeah, it's definitely key to check there. Okay. So I've been checking it, even though it is a little bit um, out of the way. But as long as you can find your way from there to the prepper's cache, you'll be good. Okay. So. so here's my question: If you do go that way, there's a plane up in the region ahead that we're headed to, guys. Not the final one. If you do go that way, outside the door of that plane are the cabins, the Skeeter's Ridge cabins. Isn't it worth checking, if I don't find what I need in the plane, it's probably worth checking them for medkits. I would. 
Yes, I would. Because there's uh, almost in the basement. There's like a, I, I believe it's like a ninety percent chance for a med kit yep. there, uh, and so that's an extra stim chance. And yeah, the other house uh, outside has also the chance of a med kit as well. Maybe fifty so. percent at best. So yeah. we're yeah. looking for uh, this this sort of wreck wreckage. What do you call it? Ruined wood, guys. And up from it is a ruined cabin. We just cr went under the bridge, crossed the river. And obviously it's hard to show you in the fog, but uh, you'll, you could have very different conditions. So you want this. This is a waypoint, and then you go straight back from it. If you go off to the right here, you'll find the Draft Dodgers cabin and a double rope up to Skeeter's Ridge. We do not have the extra stims to go that way, so we're going to take a little bit of a longer route up. And we will keep going straight here, and then we'll catch a switchback path, and there's a mountain up ahead of us. You'll see it in a minute. But we'll get yeah, up so it. Even the speedrunners that we've been that, I, that we've been looking at, even they take this route. Mm -hmm. So I think draft archer's cabin um, and double double rope. I don't think it's it, you can you can avoid it very easily. And it, I don't think it saves a whole bunch of time. It might save maybe one or two minutes in game doing it this way, but it does potentially save you your energy from the stim. So if you do have good energy. Mm. going up there I and don't. you wreck it by taking the stim yeah so it, it should be almost wrecked by now and you should yeah. have you should have all your coffee if you do have any coffee you should have it on hand right now so you could stim and use your coffee when you're done with stimming right yeah after you yeah. enter timberwolf drink coffee until you have to stim or something yeah i don't know that, the best way to it, do yeah. it yeah it's it's just one of those ways of yeah it's it all depends on what the what the loot drops you so because we'd be if you don't have five stems up till now definitely avoid it because you won't be able to make it up the other four ropes otherwise so if we had a stem we'd be up that rope already we'd be at the top of skeeter's ridge true yeah and yeah. and looking around those cabins which we're gonna it's gonna take us a few minutes to get to now well, that's if you don't get what you need from the plane. So I would, if, if you get what you get from the plane, I would not even go there. Okay. So I'm make sure you. that when you when you come out of here, hug the right side. I, I'm, I might be just a little bit too late. You'll pass a deer corpse. Okay. When you go through this passageway, you'll pass a deer corpse. Yeah, I'm passing like, it now. If you go directly right, yeah. So just keep along that the the ridge. Keep the uh, the rocks to your right. Okay. I'm and you'll you. end up at the front of the plane. Okay. Good direction, sir. So it's an easy way just to key, just to cut out that one corner right there, so it'll save you another few minutes in game time. So okay, beautiful. A baby girl saying morning, guys. What a wonderful thing to wake up to on top of the set time for the new map. Uh huh. So that's... she's referring to the uh, the arc uh, the arc map. Yeah, three o'clock Eastern. They're going to be starting a new map, so I'm going to join for the yeah. death run at least. Okay. It's a story mode. I'm I'm really interested in. Uh, so I think they're gonna be playing through uh, the whole uh, the whole uh, hey, storyline of Ark. All the gamma bosses, I think, is the plan. Okay. And map one are map, they, then the next map, then the next map. Every tech couple cave weeks. as well, or are, are they gonna do the ascension cave? Uh, I don't know. I know. I think the goal was gamma boss, whatever that means. Okay. No. Yeah, this is a difficulty of one of the bosses. No stim. But yeah, they're gonna do all uh, the bosses, uh, one for each level. Okay, so now we okay, go well, down and out here. And I don't need these gloves. I don't know why I picked them up. But we did get another MRE. So now I need to not get lost here. Okay, so out of the plane and just go direct. Uh, oh, no, so you can hard go to the right, right since you didn't get your stem. Yeah, hard right. Okay. And keep the, uh, keep the rocks on your right and side. And eventually. You know, watch out for wolves. Watch out for wolves. Eventually, I'm going to go the opposite direction, right? Yeah, eventually you're going to go back that way and keep the rocks on your left, so pass the plane again on your way to the uh, uh, the Hunter's Blind. Okay, guys, we forge on through the fog. We are trying to get our third stim before we have to leave this region, and we did not get any in this region. The luck of the draw was against us. Is this a ruined cabin? It is. Okay, which of the ruined cabins is this? There are two side by side here, guys. Unless this is the loner, but I don't think so, right? No, I don't think that's the loner now. I think that's the one with the... It might be the one with the basement. I'm, it's not showing up on the stream yet. All good. So. No med kit outside it. Yeah. I'm headed for the one with <sighs> the basement. One last chance. Um, one last chance in this yes. region, guys. 
Yeah, so Baby Girl is saying they're going to do the Island, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, Genesis, and Genesis 2. All Gamma and Ascend. Ascending at Gamma. Uh, we're playing it all as one community, no solo bases. We live at the CC. We don't rotate maps till everyone has done Gamma and Ascend at Gamma. So they're basically going to do everything as a huge group. This stuff will come in handy. Uh, I, got, I got a little lost. This must be the one with the basement. I just missed it. The one with the fence around it, you mean? Basement? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Almost lost it. Alright, guys, we are almost out of matches. I've got to burn one of my matches and hope we find some. How? How? How did I end up low on matches? There's an oh, extra man. flare. Luck, luck of the draw? Luck no, the draw I just maybe? probably haven't been picking picking them up enough. Yeah. Okay. We'll take this, we'll search this, and we'll go, guys. Nope, no luck. Crap. Uh, there could be matches right here among this firewood. Nope. That's not good, dude. Oh, I can't see where I'm going at all. Okay, this way. Nope. I was going to say, since you have two flares, I mean, you might want to just spend it by using one of the flares and then check the uh, prepper's cache. And there'll be matches at the plane as well. <clears throat> inside yeah, one of those matches. containers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, true. So I've come out. This is the double cabins. I go this way, right? Between the two, uh, I know where I'm going. I got the weather has cleared yeah. up now. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, wow, holy crap! Follow the moon. Normally, guys, you have so many matches, you're throwing them away. Yeah, you're dumping them actually because you have like four stacks of wood matches or something like that. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of dumping, I'm a little bit overweight. You've oh, we'll been drink. getting so lucky with no wolves at those two cabins, by the way. We'll drink this coffee, I guess. Head a little bit further over to the left, by the way. Okay, thank you, sir. I, I just see you dumping your inventory, and I saw you just drifting off a bit too much to the right. So hug the plane again, and then you'll find the hunter's blind like almost like right in front of you. Mm, so yeah. you can cut that corner by going down that road like the last time, but I think you got a little bit lost that last time. So that's why I was saying maybe stick to the route that you that, that's comfortable for you. Well, this plane didn't used to be here last year when I was doing this challenge around this time of year. Yeah. This is like a new addition. So it, it threw, it's always thrown me for a little loop. But uh, yeah. you come off that ridge, guys, and you keep these rocks here after the plane to your left. That's right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have enough stims out of the plane, when you when you exit the plane, instead of going uh, to the right, you go to the hard left. Uh, it'll dip down once. You'll go up a steep cliff, uh, dip down again, and then when you come up the next side, you'll see the hunter's blind like right in front of you, and they just cut to the right. What are my chances of finding another stim? When and where could I find one? Um, it would be at the at the wrecked wing. Oh no, uh, no. So it would be at the mountaineer's cabin. And then that Mountain wing. Hut. And then okay. the wing. And those are the only two locations that you'll be able to find one now. Because the caves don't have them or anything like that. Okay. So, no. so we have we need... <clears throat> there are four ropes we've got to climb. We only have the ability to get up three of them. Right now. Uh, yeah. In order to get up the last one, I would need to sleep. It is very difficult to complete this in 24 hours with sleep, especially because I would need, because of the no coffee, I would need a lot of sleep. If we had coffee now, we could keep pounding it and rebuild that energy bar slowly and st uh, steadily, but we are not going to be able to do that. So we got to figure out a strategy, because I'm making good time right now. We're nine hours in. Yeah, so it's uh, if you st so prepper's cash stim up that rope because then you can go a long way because that's only like a uh -huh. run you can't lose <laughs> your way there. Nope. So if you stim up there, you'll be dead energy by the time you get to the mountaineer's hut, which 
I yeah, mean, fine. would be a shame, but it's fine because you could sleep at the Mountaineer's Hut for maybe a few, maybe an hour or two if you don't find a stim there. I'd be so better. If you find a stim there, I would. Yeah. I'd be better off sleeping at the cave before the first rope. That way, I doesn't have time to deplete. Like if I sleep at the Mountaineer's Hut, I might end up exhausted by the time I get to the next rope. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, very true. Very true. Yeah. Just so. make sure that yeah, so <clears throat> even if you're tired, just keep your uh, keep your temperature good. So uh, it might be worth it to maybe just light a fire in the mountaineer's hut. Like, even not not use all the wood there. Just light like a small fire with like one log and just stand in front of it until you get a little bit warmer. Don't mind me, so guys. You, it, 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 it's a little bit of a waste of time, but uh, as long as your uh, your temperature and your eye are above, at least not completely depleted, both of them, you won't lose health. That's the key. So you can, if you if you if you get cold, you start losing health. That's the thing. And you've been uh, tired for a long time, so it, it the health hasn't depleted as much as it normally would. Put that way. We are but once you get cold. Yeah, that's when it starts hitting hard. So. We are in need of some matches, guys. I'm just going to check every one of these drawers just in case in this filing cabinet. Normally I wouldn't. Oh, we found a tin of coffee in the ca in the top <gasps> that is key. drawer of the cabinet. That is key. So yeah, you can brew up coffee while you warm yourself up at the Mountaineer's Hut. That's what I would do. I wouldn't do it here with a campfire. I'd do it there. Okay, I'm going to use my last match. We got to find some. There will be some at the Mountaineer's Hut. I couldn't find this lantern in the dark. I tried so hard. Oh, uh, the workbench? Yeah, uh, I tried straight so Straight back from the ladder. Yeah, straight back from the ladder. So if you keep the ladder to your back, it just goes straight forward. I got to the workbench and I was looking all over it and I just couldn't locate oh. the lantern on it. <laughs> yeah. In complete yeah. blackness. Yeah, it's always in the back right corner of that thing. So yeah. Okay, guys. I think that's it. All right, we need to manage our inventory before we get out of here. So, that's our food department. We have no drinks, and I have no water, so I'm going to have to get water. I didn't bring water this far. Yeah, there's no water at the Mountaineer's Hut either. You'd have to melt snow. Yeah. Which would take, which would take time. Yep. Are you still doing your inventory? Yeah. Have you dumped the MREs? No. Dump the MREs. It'll save you one kilo and you'll be underweight. Slight, just underweight. But then I'll have zero food. <clears throat> That's the only thing. You'll have zero food, but if you can loot the wing of the plane, you should find some... Uh, That's just soft yeah, drinks, drinks and canned yeah. food. I'm not... I'm, yeah, I, I mean... Yeah. It's, I, only, I have less than a half kilo of, uh, of that stuff. Oh, okay, no, I see you're already you're already you're already under fifteen. Or at least you're fifteen point one nine on the stream right uh -huh. now, so that's why. But yeah. Okay. And we have lots of Oh god, we need matches. How silly of the miss the challenges you run into sometimes when you haven't yeah. done this. You there's a new way it defeats you every time, my friends. We're just gonna... I, I would dump the antiseptic. If you if you haven't already, because that saves you like a ton of weight. Cause that stuff's like zero point seven kilos. But what for about one a bottle? What about a bear bite? Well, I mean, if you're gonna get bit by a bear, I mean, you're gonna need more than just one antiseptic, right? I mean, no, well, I mean, an antiseptic and a bandage, and you're back to back to normal. That that's that's the risk that I would take. That's what, me personally. But look, we're so. at. What? What? When I? Why would? Yeah, if if you can keep your weight under fifteen, yeah, no, I'd, I'd completely agree. Why drop that when I could drop it. one newspaper, right? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Or oh, two, drop two newspapers. Okay, but either way, I'm stimming up this one. So, or do I energy drink yeah. it? It doesn't matter. We need to find one more stim, otherwise <sighs> sleep is. I, I would stim. I would stim up this one because you Be can make your way down pretty far. So. Same with the first rope on the mountain. There's a long sprint after it, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is this does replenish your health. So if you have limited stims, you could try and save them for when you know your health will be lower. This will yep. boost it back up. Ours is in great condition. But uh, now we just sprint as hard as we can, guys. 
I, I, a lie, yeah, it, it would be boring. Uh, he's saying, wouldn't it be boring if it was the same every time? Uh -huh. Yeah, it would be, because, I mean, it would not be as fun as this is. This is luck of the draw, random RNG, so. Uh, yeah, you get Then there wouldn't be a, much of a challenge or too much challenge. No, there wouldn't, no. You, the the you weather, the right pathway. The weather's been wonderful this time, so I can't complain yeah. at the, the loot being a little bit off. But that tin of coffee that we found, that, that, that could be very useful. I just need to figure out how to take advantage. Normally, guys, the tin of coffee, we brew it when we also have a source of water on hand from a toilet, like at the dam or at the farmhouse. Here, I would have to melt water. Did I bring along? No, I didn't bring any water purification tablets either. Oh, crap, yeah. I just never, it's not part of my game plan, so. No, no. Uh, no, how often do we need to brew up coffee at the um, at the Mountaineer's Hut? I mean, almost never. Or so the coffee is a game changer because. Uh, okay, so let's talk it talk it over. You could make two tins on one fire. If you brew, if you, uh, let me t let me talk this through with you. Each tin <laughs> makes 0.5 liters of water. That's two cups of coffee. So mm -hmm. you could make four of the five cups of coffee in like 40 minutes of fire time, something like that. Yeah. So I should wait until I'm cold and there is a ready source of wood because I can travel exhausted from here to the next location, stim again. Mm -hmm. Then the next rope I can energy drink up. Then the last rope... That last cave where there's a lot of wood that I talked about taking up to the top, mm -hmm. we can use yeah. that to make one fire. I can make sure I'm very thirsty by the time we get there, and we'll brew all the cups of coffee. I'll drink all four hot cups of coffee, and that should give me enough to do one rope, no stint. Those four cups of coffee. Like, that's the trick. That's what this coffee is for, is for the one yeah, rope. Yeah, but... If but I need it. That would not be... I would not do the last rope like that. That last rope is a long one up to the summit. Right, okay. There's one rope in between. Uh, there's before one the cave. Rope that you can, yeah. Uh, is it before the cave? Yeah, it's the one. I well, believe it's the one before well, the cave that you can do on a coffee buff. If you have enough stamina and you have that coffee buff. So th that's the. Th so that's the issue. Here's that's the, the reason I suggested the last one A, there's wood up there. And B, mm -hmm. I only want to spend 40 minutes brewing coffee if I have to. If I find a stim, let's not bother. No, no, no. No, definitely not. So I want to get my last two chances at, at one more stim. We want three guys for the mountain, and I've got one on me right now, uh, plus an energy drink. So that's basically, I can do any rope with an energy drink. So we're basically able to do two of the three ropes. <clears throat> stim for the last one would be ideal. Uh, I think Stim for the last one is a must, actually. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can that's such yeah. a long rope. The energy drink would do it. You can do it on an energy drink. I feel like but it. But if you Stim it, if you Stim it, you can run all the way to the plane. Uh huh. Okay, well, let's see what we find here, guys. We have a couple more chances at glory. This is the Mountaineer's Hut. We have reached it in... Uh... Mm, Nine hours, 54 minutes. Well, this stuff will come in handy. So I'm ahead of schedule. I have time to brew coffee if need be. No stim here. One more flare we will take. I'll take that accelerant and the tinder plug. Those are always useful. We'll check this. This sometimes has warm clothing. Nope. We will not start a fire here. We'll grab those matches. We don't need a knife. And I will leave this because it puts me overweight. And I'm still overweight, so we'll just do a quick check, guys. I'm going to keep all that stuff. We just need to get ourselves... How many... St I've got too much accelerant. Okay. Drop that. And one piece of newspaper because we found two Tinder plugs here. All right, I had to step away. Did you find... Oh, no, you didn't find any steps nope, there. I did not. No. Okay, okay, guys, so that's all the time we're going to spend there. If you wanted to, you could brew coffee. We're going to brew coffee if absolutely necessary. I have one more shot at a stim, and I'll show you where it is on the way. See, a run like this, my man, if I had skipped... I know I didn't get a stim there, but if I'd skipped the med kit at the end of the train tracks, 
I'd be thinking, God, one away. I'm one one stim away from a great run. Otherwise, yeah. It's, but then again, uh, then know. again, you had no first aid kit in that one house outside the dam either. So if you had a stim there and you grabbed the other med kit out of the other cabin there, mm -hmm. that would have been two extra stims. So that's. I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, I just yeah like. I did it today. I was doing like a little run, and I did get the one outside the train, uh, off the log train tracks. Basically, I did grab that one. So I did take the old route. Yep. And it doesn't. It's it's not that big of a waste of time. But I mean, it is potential key if you can get good loot there. So, so yeah, there's I'll take different aspects to to running these. So yeah. I'll take a second give direction, guys. When you come out of the Mountaineer's hut, aim for that uh, ice fishing hut. Go past that big log. Keep going until the valley, kind of an obvious valley forms in front of you, and then stay to the right. We're going to end up going into the trees and not the clearing. I cannot believe how lucky you are going out of that Mountaineer's hut and going down that path and not finding a, a bear. I've had a bear there for the past four or five runs okay, on that so way down. I will so. show you. There's a very good chance he's still ahead of us. It's just he might be... Oh, did you hear that? Uh, no, I, I don't have sound on, so... Uh, Kai is saying, just pop in quick to say hi, happy new year, TC, and all stay safe. Thanks for cursing me, buddy. Well, hey, I'm just saying, I mean, you were getting too lucky. Like, I've had wolves bite my butt and bears all over the place and everything, so... I'm just, I was just, you know, I don't like cursing you, but you know. And well, guess what happened? The bear's right there. Yeah, I saw. I just saw the bear. Yeah. I think I, I just saw it. I think I escaped him, but I sprained an ankle I doing hope, so. I hope you. Oh, stop! I don't have any way to f defend against the bear right now, guys. So. Okay. All right. So now we head into this birch forest. We aim for a really big wing, chunk of wing. I think that's it up there. All right, all the way cold, or all the way tired, I mean. Now, another warning for you guys. This is also not only bear country, but it's moose country. So should there be a moose, he will be sneaking around the cargo containers I absolutely have to open. So let's hope for a no moose situation. I think we're good. Oh, no, I saying the bear just wants to hug you, UTC. Hold on, my friend. I gotta deal with a wolf while opening this. <clears throat> okay, guys. This cargo container contains... One of them contains flares, which I guess I better open. The other one contains medical supplies. Okay. I'm gonna take everything real quick and then see he's holding his ground. We'll sort out our inventory once he's definitely behind us. Uh wolf? You mean? Yeah. Leave it. Oh leave it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Leave it, leave it, leave it, take it. Nope, nothing. Okay. Alright, so I gotta sort out my inventory. I now need a coffee Hail Mary to get up one of these ropes. Was there a dead body there, by the way? Why? Because uh, uh, next to the body, there's also a chance of a first aid kit. No. Just a No, no. That's what I was wrong. Okay. No, I, did, I just saw it on stream, and it was nothing there. Ooh, okay. Good. Too close to a wolf. And I picked up too much stuff trying to be fast there, guys, so... I'm gonna do a super quick check. What, did it, what was I picking up? F fuels. Matches. Ammo as well. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna get across the bridge. I'll worry about this in a second. Alright, I'm debating how to do this. The easiest rope might be the first one. The one you're coming up to now? Maybe? Yeah, but I've got that cave between me and it. Let me let me see. Let me let me check my notes really quick, right? Yeah, you got it, buddy. Check my notes because I wrote them down. So uh, I'm gonna be able to enter this cave. There'll be wood in it. I could attempt my coffee hail mary from the cave. 
Yeah, so this one is uh, the cave, or at least the, after the cave, that rope is where you can do it on coffee. With a good coffee buff, but that's with stamina. So, yeah, you'd have to, you could do it on that one, because the next one you're going to do is... Um, yeah, you're going to need the energy, you can energy drink that one. Or you could uh, coffee that one. Well, let, let me all, let yeah. me remind you, sir. I've gotten to the top of the mountain in 24 hours with no stims. So the, you can absolutely get up there, coffee only. I did every rope, yeah. technically, that yeah, one but time. Since you're, since you're going for that 24-hour run now, yes. right? So it's trying to save as much time as you possibly can. But um, yeah, so one of the next two ropes you could definitely do on coffee. On a coffee buff, and then energy drink one, and then stim the last rope. But I might need, like, a, a one-hour nap as well. I don't know. Possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying that, no. Because the all. coffee, four cups of coffee, I can't get them all in my system in one go. How am I going to do this, guys? <laughs> well, you, okay, so you're... I'm seeing your, your water bar is not... Is, is looking good, so it's low. I've been right? I've been bleeding myself dry. Yeah, so you might. I'm not sure if you can do all four at once, but you can definitely do a few at once. And so these next two ropes, you have to check which one has the ledges on it. This one's one got nothing. One of the two has ledges. This one's got nothing. This one. Okay, this one has nothing. Straight then shot up. I would do coffee. I would do coffee here. But if we f try and fail. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm the other way around. I would energy drink here. Make sure you have enough stuff on you to make a fire on that next one, so you can step off on one of the ledges, make a make a fire, and brew up mm. some coffee there while you wait. Interesting. As well. So you'll warm up as well. You'll get some coffee in your system, and then so from then on, it's just a little boost up. I, I've got so it. You can easily do that one on coffee. Right. Yeah. Um. It, I'm going to hit escape for a sec. Okay, guys, we've got a very difficult yeah. challenge ahead of us. We have yeah. one stim and one energy drink, and we have three ropes to climb. If I try this one on coffee and fail... Oh, You're done. It's, yeah, that, you can't... Yeah, it's it, done. Because it, 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 I'll be it's wrecked. Trial, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. You won't be able to do the run. You'll have to start all over again. If we, if we can, won't be able we can avoid a... We can avoid a six-hour sleep, which at the moment that would be required to finish this challenge. Sleep for six hours to get up one of these ropes. Yeah. If I get the coffee in me right, I'm just debating. You can do this one on coffee. You to see, you can do it on coffee. Okay, let's try, guys. It's it could be a pass fail situation, and I could have to <laughs> could maybe I'm not done with this challenge yet. But let's start a fire. So we've got to put some time in here. I'm pretty much all the way cold anyway, so this is not a bad time to do it. No. I could start... Uh-huh. Okay, melt a half liter of snow. If I had brought those tablets, that would be very helpful. I didn't think I would end up needing them. We never do. We never bring those things. Nope. But uh, we're trying to make a less than ideal run function maybe yes this is going to give me one liter of water is it what it's not worth starting another fire i just gotta wait that doesn't speed anything up so 14 minutes till melted let's take a second and go through our inventory free th some things up okay see this is the way i read them i've written them down so this one you can do on coffee the next one is energy drink or stim because that one does have that ledge there, so it's too much to do just on the coffee buff. And then the last one's stim. So if you yeah. can if you can get to a ledge, you just have to wait for your stamina to recharge, and you can mostly get up the last. That's very true, but chunk. like your eye, the like the eye thing, like your energy level. Yes, that's It'll... what counts hard in that one. So. It's slow. in climbing. If you're completely drained all of your energy, and then you wait for your stamina, it. Yeah, it's not ideal. This one would be the ideal way is coffee up this one, uh, energy drink the next one, steam up the last one. Those are the ideal situations. Okay, well, we've got a little time to kill here, guys. I need to uh, wait for this to melt, 
then we need to wait for it to boil then we need to turn it into four cups of coffee which we will drink as fast and as easily quickly as possible we might have to wait just 15, to get all the coffee. 15 people 15 people watching 16 likes oh congrats so. thank you that's congrats <laughs> Well, you can congratulate me, but I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. great job! All right, guys, yeah, so we're trying. I, I, unfortunately, I do have to go right now. Oh, it's time. So, okay, that's okay, buddy. I, I will remember your here, sage so. advice. Don't worry, I won't forget that one thing you were going to tell me. Yeah, I'm I sorry, dude. I, I would love to hang out until the top of the plane, but I have. That's an okay. Hour and, There's a very good chance so. this challenge is over here if I don't get up this rope on this attempt. All right. So. I well, appreciate all me your help. Send me, send, me a, send me a message today, all right? I really want to know if you made it right. and what your time was if you did make it, all right? Okay. Well, Happy New Year, my friend. Guys, wish uh, Dynamic a uh, Happy New Year. And he's off to spend all time with family. And, uh, yeah. All right, we'll all see you All of you watching, a very Happy New Year. You too, dude. Uh, may, may the best come in 2021 for all of us. I hope so. All right, man. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Okay, buddy. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Just us for the home stretch. Like I said, it may be over now. It was nice to have him help me strategize. So here's the truth. If I don't get up this, this coffee is a Hail Mary. Ideally, what you want to do with coffee is drink it slowly over a period of time and build up your stamina bar. We don't have a ton of time. So we're going to take this. And pass time until this is ready and take this. Now we brew coffee. And we're going to do four cups. We're going to drink. Uh, we'll see if we can drink two, the first two. Because my thirst bar is really low. We're letting it get really, really low. That way, hopefully, I can drink all four cups of coffee. That should give me enough energy to do this next rope if I strip off all my bulky clothing. So we just wait. We just wait and we're patient. Thank you to everybody watching chat. I see... Oh, I missed Kai. Happy New Year, buddy. If I missed you, I got distracted. Dynamic didn't point you out. But then Lai and Baby Girl Uber Smith here in chat. 13 of you watching. We're trying to make a Happy New Year miracle, guys. Six, five minutes till ready. We'll be almost all the way warm by the time this is right. This is all done. So let's just pass. Um, have I gotten myself underweight? Uh, not quite, but I don't know how to get further underweight. We can drop this. We probably don't need this many flares. One, two. We shouldn't see another bear, so I could drop my antiseptic like DD recommended. And then just one newspaper and we're good. Although we're about to pick up a bunch of coffee, so let's let's go. So we drink it. And we brew another one. And we drink it. Good. We're going to be able to get at least one of the other cups of coffee into us immediately. And a tin of coffee. So you can see my health, my stamina bar has gone up. We need to keep doing this. This is the key to our success. <laughs> what a challenge. Happy New Year, Shim. Thank you. Okay, eight minutes till ready. We're already toasty warm. Let's take a look at our clothing. Everything's dry. We don't have amazing clothing, but it's good enough to get up and down the mountain. Let's pass time. Okay? Drink it. Okay, now we have we could make one additional cup of coffee, but we'd need to boil more water. I'm just going to start this going just in case we decide we need it. Um... And we're going to wait till we can actually drink this one. So we're going to let that simmer there for a minute. We won't let it burn. This says 27 minutes till burn. This is 16 minutes till melted. Can I drink this one already? Yes, good. Okay, so what do we do? Do we... Try and get one more cup in us. It will be a long time. Excuse me, guys, sneezing. Okay. We're not going to. Let's just see what we can accomplish here. I gotta go in and drop that bit of nasty water. Okay. 
And we're going to eat as much as we can, which will be almost nothing. Okay, we'll try drinking this last little shot of coffee. <clears throat> and that's it. We're underweight. We're warm. We're fully slaked and full. our hunger is satisfied. So now there is a rope around this corner. We just got to get to it without draining any of this energy. So no sprints. And strip off our bulky clothing a little bit before the rope, which we can afford to do because we're so toasty warm. And then we will climb up it. And if we can, then a 24-hour run is in, in, in reach. This is the rope, right? Show me the valley and the rope. Yes, this is it. Okay, so if you see my sprint bar there, guys, we just need to give that little red chunk time to regenerate. So I'm going to right now hop in our inventory. And I know it seems crazy, but if we take this stuff off, we'll rest up before our climb. And we'll get a little bit colder, but don't stress because we got warm clothes. This won't make a big difference. And now you see my stamina bar. Okay, it's almost all the way up. We took our clothes off too early. <laughs> <clears throat> That's okay. So this is a pass-fail make or break on this whole challenge right now. If you had a stim, you wouldn't have had to make that stop in the cave I made. You just keep chugging on. And uh, and you just, boom, hit the stim, up this rope, easy peasy. We are going to have to do it on human energy, manpower, woman power. Because I chose the girl character. Let's see if we can do it, friends. Let's see if we can do this this chunk of the journey. When UTC sneezed, his mouth shook, and I thought, Wow, that's a new animation for the new dark. Yeah, I sneezed hard. Okay, now or never, guys. Can we get up the mountain? So your speed is determined by your tiredness meter. We're going to make it. And your stamina is determined by your sprint stamina. So we've used half of it. You can see how much more quickly we're getting tired. All right. Thank you, buddy. I'm glad he got to see this, guys. DD has checked in, and he knows we're at the top of this rope. Yeah, baby. One energy drink and one stim to the summit. And then a 24-hour run is ahead of us. Okay. Let's get dressed. Looks like a new day is dawning. And a new day is dawning. I told you we'd be climbing this mountain by daybreak. By the time the sun came up, we would be up here, summiting it. And we are on our way to do that. One out of three tough challenges ahead, and we've got everything we need for the other two. We did it, guys. We did it. 19 viewers live, the most viewers of the whole stream. You're coming at a perfect time. I am on pace for a 24-hour run. We have 9 hours and 16 minutes remaining. Uh, I need... I'm moving a little slower than my ideal pace. We need 7 hours and 15 minutes, worst case scenario. Not worst case scenario. I probably need 7 hours and 15 minutes to get from the summit to the finish line. That means we need to be at and off the summit in less than 2 hours. Whoo, boy. Didi, the time is close. The time is close. So, in the past, guys, I have left the summit. Let's see, I left the summit 15 hours and 44 minutes in. We are currently, do some quick math, 14 uh, hours and 54 minutes in. So, really, we only have an hour to get up and up and off that summit. Ooh. Oh, the jinxing is so bad. I'm jinxing my it's a reverse jinx lie, don't worry. I'm definitely gonna make it. Reverse jinx. See, that was a little bit sarcastic. Okay, so we have a long cold trip ahead of us here, guys. And then uh we will Energy drink up this next rope. Stim up the final one. We'll brew... I've got this technique for... Uh, 
getting three fires going at the same time atop the plane, which we should be able to see pretty soon. The summit is somewhere over here. <clears throat> we do, we're going to be, it's going to be very tight to complete this in 24 hours, guys. We've only got under nine to go, and I don't have any coffee for, to, to boost me after each of these exhausting rope climbs. Yeah, it's true, baby girl. I I've done all these ropes without stems. I once got to the summit in 24 hours with no stems, but that was a old days of wanting to get to the summit in 24. We want to get to the summit in 17 and off the summit in 17. Worst case scenario. That's part of the trick, is don't spend too much time up. <laughs> Why? Well, jinxes aren't real anyway. Don't psych me out with your jinx talk, Why? <laughs> in my, uh, this is a d off topic, but in my fantasy football uh, league, we have a WhatsApp chat and we're talking to each other every day. Um, I finished uh, second to last place this year, which is great. You don't want to finish last, otherwise you have a very embarrassing team name all year next year. But I'm the 2019 champion, the last pre-COVID champion of my, my league. Uh, and we we do this thing in our league where, where we, it's a reverse, I think it's a reverse jinx, where we say like, oh, congratulations, you're definitely going to beat me. I don't have a chance to the guy in order to jinx him. <laughs> Uh, a jinx baby girl is when you're like, oh, we're, we're in great shape. We're definitely going to make it to the top of this mountain. I just jinxed myself. I was too cocky. I got ahead of myself. Right? But I feel confident now. It's good timing, guys. <clears throat> I've barely drank any of my coffee. So we need to not panic trying to get 24 hours, guys, because... <clears throat> 20, yeah, 2020 is going to be the best year ever, is jinxing, totally. So this one has no ledge either, Dynamic, if you're still watching. That's two ledgeless ones. But, I didn't want to do coffee here because we have no wood and nowhere to hide to make a fire. So, this is the energy drink one. And then we stim up the last one. Boom. Boom. Get it in our system. Oh, quickly. Strip off clothing. I don't know if this matters, but I hope so. He hasn't missed a field goal in 10 years, Jinx. Yeah, so we reverse Jinx each other. We go... We go... We tell the other guy that he's a guaranteed to win. Or is that just a jinx? Or are we doing a double reverse jinx? Is it a reverse reverse jinx? And essentially just a single jinx? What's happening? <laughs> okay. So while under the influence of this energy drink, guys, our energy is high. But uh, we... Uh, but it will run out and we'll end up worse off than we started. So while we can, we should sprint, but it's not the same as a stim where you really get an unlimited sprint. Gosh, Chopper, come sit in here. Stop squeaking. So the reason, guys, that I like to save my own, if I only have this one stim for the mountain, that I like to save it for here is because in this cave you can grab wood, and if you use a stim, you can climb uh, unencumbered, which we should put our clothes back on, I think. All right. Um, you can climb unencumbered, uh, and so what I like to do is grab one, two, three pieces of wood, and we don't have enough cans. We're short one can. I only ended up with five cans because we didn't find one at the farmhouse. But, uh, we make our way through this cave, and there's one more shot up here to find more wood. Uh, when I find that wood, we'll use it, and when we get to the top of the mountain, we'll build six fires, and we will focus on coffee and coffee alone. We might find stims up there, but then we have a seven-hour journey down the mountain. So we have five logs. Now, I could never climb... 
uh, on coffee or on energy drink if I had these five logs. But if I have a stim, I can do it. I'm a Superman with a stim. I'm, a, I'm an undestructible hero. How dare you streak in the snow? You'll get hypothermia. Agreed. But luckily you can't take your undies off in this game. So if you guys look, you just noticed a sprain risk thing and a little red weight symbol in the bottom right. This is a super short walk. There's a chance we sprain something because we're walking with all this wood in our backpack. But you'll thank me when we get to the top. It will save 45 minutes of wood gathering uh, with an axe by chopping up a big log up there. This is your last chance to grab a ton of wood and build a triple fire. Use six cans if you've got all six and brew six, 12, 18, or 24 cups of coffee. 18 is gonna be our number. So we're gonna do three rounds of six cups of coffee, uh, assuming we find enough up there. And you can see we're all the way exhausted now, but it doesn't matter. We just have one stem to go and one rope right around this corner. And guys, we're, we're at the summit. We're at the summit, and we are a little over 16 hours to the top. So I'm behind my good pace. Ooh, it's going to be tight, guys. It's going to be so tight. All that time spent making coffee instead of just stimming up those two ropes. Ooh, all that time spent making coffee and getting no coffee on the front half. Because normally now, I could drink a cup of coffee, and we'd not be losing any health, and we'd be moving faster. But I don't have any to spare. So up we go. This is our rope. I like to stim. Dee Dee doesn't do this, but I like to stim a little bit before it since we're already exhausted and we're going to make it to the plane <clears throat> with a little bit of extra anyway. Somewhere right around here, I'll eh, maybe at the bottom of this little hill, I'll hit the stim and we'll sprint the final leg of the trip. All right, let's do it. Give me the juice. Give me the juice, baby. Slow and steady. Thank you for the support, guys. I very much appreciate you guys who weren't into this game originally coming out to support me and my hopeless inane challenges to complete this in a record-setting time. I'm so much better when you're not here. Don't take this the wrong way, guys, those of you watching, but I'm so much better when I play by myself. I had left the mount- I was already on my way down the mountain in my 23-hour run. I, I was probably back at the Mountaineer's side. So we're behind schedule. But that's a 23-hour run. So we can be an hour behind schedule. Which I'll tell you in a second if we are. But actually, I'll tell you when we leave the plane if we are. So now we use this sprint. Take it as far as we can go. Look at this beautiful sunrise, guys. Look at it. Look at the beautiful sunrise. A new day is dawning. You gotta feel good about this. So this is the whole point, guys. The very first thing we will do up here, and don't tell me I know it, we're gonna grab the flare pistol. Don't forget it. You'd have to be a complete moron to come up here and forget the flare pistol. Okay? <clears throat> you have no one to impress then. Okay, cool, I'll just chill. All right, so we got all this wood, guys. If you didn't get it, you'd have to find an ax in one of these containers and chop this up for a big fire in order to brew a ton of coffee, but the ton of coffee is super valuable on this home stretch. So step one, open this, grab the gun, grab the flares, and you don't have to do this, but I'd just like to do it for good measure. This is my new rule. Load it, and fire one off. This doesn't end the game, but this is how we'll end the game in a minute. Okay? And then we load it again. And you make sure you have this gun in your inventory before you leave this plane. Okay, guys? Don't be a doofus. Like I said, you'd have to be really soft in the brain to make that kind of a mistake. I'm talking about myself here, in case you didn't notice. So we also brought a hacksaw up. You can find it in a few locations. We got it at the Prepper's Cache. We grab it the first location possible. We open this container. We leave the soft drinks and we grab all the water. Unless we get really bad luck, there should be enough water here for 15 cups at least. Not a lot of water. And then we open this one up top. It's full of coffee. All right, open it up. And if we get bad luck, it's full of herbal tea and almost no coffee. One, two, three, four. That's enough for us, so we'll leave the rest. Okay. And we go right here, because these two contain warm clothes, and we'll start three fires. 
Hopefully we brought enough of everything we need. There's one. Accelerant, start. If you need more accelerant, there's some up here. If you need um, more tinder, there's not much up here. So bring, bring tinder up. I like to have four or five before I get up here, and you might find one more. But then watch this. Triple fire. I didn't know this was a thing until recently, but this is sort of like a, a, a speed cooking challenge. We got to make as much coffee as possible in as little time as possible. So we go here, cook. And we go can, and we select coffee. It's going to be the only thing in our inventory. Right? So we have 21 cups on me. We're only going to make 18. We have 21, and I'm short a can, so we can't keep going. We can only make five at a time. Okay, so let me do that math then. Five at a time, and I have 21 cups. Okay, so we're going to do four rounds of this, and it's 11 minutes each. So we got to take the absolute most of these four 11-minute chunks, because that's time we're not going to get back. So we open this. If we find nice socks, we take them. If we find nice snow pants, we take them. Everything else, we pretty much leave. So two nice pairs of socks, and that's it. This one, sweaters and coats. We already have nice sweaters, so we're not going to grab these unless they're in good condition. Ragged, leave it. I think we'll take those. Leave it. We're going to take two of these coats if there are two. We're in amazing shape, guys. Okay. So we put away everything else. Don't worry about it. The sweaters were in bad condition, so we don't have to worry about them. We'll keep the ones we've got. Oh, maybe I should replace this guy. Okay, let's drop that. Let's grab the best sweater out of here. Uh, probably this one. All right. And we will pop this on right now. We will drop both of our sports socks and we'll put on two pairs of climber socks. We're going to drop these heavy mittens. They're very good in bad weather, but they weigh a kilo. And we want to stay light. These weigh a tenth of a kilo and they're pretty warm. So we're going to wear those down. We're going to take one pair of snow pants. And I think we'll drop these. They are also extremely heavy pants. And we'll just take the ragged cargo pants on the inside maybe i'll grab another pair of pants from here these are good okay and don't waste time coffee is done grab it grab it grab it i just wasted time shoot i wasted so much time okay and we'll cook again okay don't get distracted by the clothing coffee is your primary goal after the pistol okay we'll also check for stims here that'll be our next pause i just got to get the clothing sorted real quick if you have six cups, this will go a little bit faster. So we hop in here, we drop this coat and this coat, and we wear these two. Together, they only weigh three kilos, and they're amazing. Uh, and then pants, we're going to drop these brutal ones, and we'll put on these. A little bit warmer. And that's it. Okay, so right here, medical supplies. Maybe a stim. One. I grabbed a new antiseptic because I just want to be prepared in case we see the bear on the way down. And then what's the other one I like to check? Uh, how's our food situation? It's good. If you need food, MREs right here. If you need uh, uh, accelerant or matches, it's right here. And if you need warm headwear, it's in this one. So we might as well check this. we got to get back to that coffee. We'll grab a balaclava and a nice Canadian toque and some long johns. Love it. We'll leave everything else. Everything in here is brand new. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, so we got everything we need. We'll put away the rest. We'll zip back over here. Oh, and a med kit here sometimes. Not always. Tools right here. If you need a new hacksaw, if you need an axe, if you need anything... It's in that box. There's one full of guns. Okay, we'll cook more coffee. We're gonna start drinking as well, guys. We should be able to get two into our system from this batch. Nope, just one, okay. So this time spent up here, guys, you're preparing yourself for the last leg. I need seven hours to complete the last leg. We have six hours and one minute for a 24 hour run. So I think this is our last batch of coffee. And I try and set a record second half pace. Because this is the best we can do. I'm going to leave all these cans once they're done. 
We shouldn't need more. We're going to be done brewing co coffee after this, so we'll drop all of it. And tools. We're going to drop this hacksaw. We've been in everywhere we need to go. We could drop our bedroll. I don't like to do that just in case of an emergency. And we're at 18 kilos. We're fine. Okay, we've got more wood than we need. I grabbed all this thinking we'd start some mega fires up here. We won't have to start another fire unless everything goes badly. So we'll keep some accelerant and we'll keep some uh, starters. And we'll just, if we find stuff at the right location, we'll do it. Okay, done. You could probably be much more efficient with the coffee brewing. Done. Okay. We're just waiting to see if I pop back up on YouTube. Guys, my OBS crashed. I've been having a bit of an issue lately. So if this is in the middle of the stream, let me know for sure when you can hear me. It looks like you can hear me again. So I am right where we left off. I'm just grabbing these last couple cups of coffee. And we are going to make our descent. There's a chance that there's a guy down here. And he has a stim on him. But that's never worked out for old UTC. Energy drink? Okay, we'll take it. Okay, and now we have to descend from here because there's no other way. We have a perfect clear view of the lake. We want to end up over there. That's the way out of this place. So if we do this right, we can kind of ski down this mountain. Nice and easy. And I have the gun. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have it. I have to be an idiot. Can You can see me again, guys. We're back. We're back live. You can hear me and see me. Okay. If you start to slip, you go diagonal. Yep, yeah, we can afford to get four sprains on our way down here. We're going to try not to, though. Don't worry. This is a much safer route than I used to take. You start to go right as soon as you can. And we'll follow this up and over. Uh-huh. Right here. Up and over. And I guess we'll have to go down right here. Yes, I will be careful. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, stream is all good now. Good. My OBS crashed right midstream. So we want to end up over there. We're going to try and go across these big rocks. This is the fastest route down if we can get down to this ledge right below us. Right here. Oh, that's a fall. Okay, that's fine. The only problem is we're damaging some of our new clothing that we just picked up. And now we do the same thing here. Once we're at the bottom of this, we can truly heal up. So... I'm pretty good at this descent thing. We need a drop here. Okay, fine. Okay, and now this way. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Okay, so we have to make record back half time. One cup of coffee. We will heal up our one sprain. I don't think I ruined any clothing, but we'll do a quick check. Bundle up that wrist. And pain kill it. Okay. And quick check of the clothing. It's all in okay condition. We're good. Except I never changed my hats. I was trying to move too fast. Or my long johns. Okay, great. We're going to be so warm. Look at how warm we are. It's ridiculous. Okay, so the exit is right over here. If I can get through this, this would be perfect. That's a bear. That's a bear right there. That didn't work. He's charging. Okay, we're going to get attacked, guys. Why didn't that work? Oh! Oh, thank God. I scared him. Oh, I thought he was charging me for sure. Okay. Well, 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 well. Yes, about to rob a bank. I do look like that. So we came out right here, guys. That is that fishing hut I pointed out earlier, I think. Or a different one. That's a different one. But either way, we're right back at the lake and we're on our way out of this location. So, five hours now to the finish. I am well behind my record setting pace i think it's going to be a miracle to get there in five hours but we can do it i have to choose when and where to use my stimulant we're going to drink a ton of coffee that's going to fuel us yeah thank you jay browns yeah that caused me to brown some pants
I was like, we're definitely getting attacked. That didn't work. And then he just ran right past us. See ya! Alright, this is reloaded. We'll stick to a flare when we get to wolf country. We have... So we've got to leave Timberwolf Mountain, guys, via the landing gear and the rope that we took to get in here. Then we uh, make a left and we cut all the way across Pleasant Valley. From the Prepper Cache, we try and get to the old mining road. We take that up to the Cinder Hills Coal Mine. Through there, we end up at Coastal Highway. We sprint across Coastal Highway as fast as we can. Now, I did this in 7 hours, 15 minutes, this chunk of the journey last time. We have less than that. Oh god, it's five hours now? How is this clock going so fast? Hi. It's gonna be very tight, friends. It's gonna be very tight. We're looking for landing gear and a way out. Is that landing gear up there? I think so. Coffee. Drink it. Uh, we gotta get a I did this in a triple blizzard. I had a blizzard here. I had a blizzard in Pleasant Valley, blizzard in Coastal Highway, blizzard in Desolation Point quadruple almost so it was blizzard the entire way and it took me seven hours i had two stims but we could find more the cinder hills coal mine is a great place to look for them so we're going to use one on our way up to the cinder hills coal mine in the meantime i'm going to drink coffee but not insanely i'm going to save some coffee for the last leg uh maybe half our coffee for the last leg and we'll try and do all our stims close together so that we can drink coffee before build up the stamina and then use the stims will drain it so then we can drink coffee at the end as well to push on to the finish All right, so that's our landing gear this is our way out it's gonna be four hours now god the clock is going fast friends it is going fast 24 hour run is possible four and a half hours to the finish line last time i left timberwolf mountain i needed five and a half hours to get to the finish line from here we have four and a half but no blizzards can we do it the final countdown okay we sprint again we're going to use this sprint as much as possible coffee can bring us back from the brink you can imagine how useful coffee on the front half would have been uh, on our way up here, if we'd had coffee to really plow through some of these regions with sprints. But we were all the way exhausted for a giant chunk of that journey. But that's the luck of the draw. We just didn't get a good luck of the draw this time. Um, sometimes you get three tins of coffee on the front half. It's just... it's a lucky one. Alright guys, so we gotta shave one hour off the time. Leave Timberwolf Mountain at... With four hours and 20 minutes left. Last time I left with s six and a half hours left. Is that right? Yeah, six and a half. And now I have four hours and 18 minutes. So we got to shave off one hour and we'll still come in in under 24. Because that was a 23 hour run I managed last time. No blizzard. That's good. Just fog. So this next phase of the journey, possible we see the bear again. I'd like to think he's safely behind us. But I never know how the spawning rules work. Alright friends, I need your support. Four hours to go on a five hour journey. We need to do it in four hours. Can we pull it off? I'm going to spend my whole health bar now. This last phase of the journey... My strategy changes. That health bar is currency, and we spend it whenever we can. So we're returning to somewhere we were earlier. This is the prepper's cache. Right down there are some things I dropped. I can't even tell you what they are. Newspapers. Old newspapers. Okay. And a cup of coffee. And we work our way to uh, the location where we can use our first stim. We've got at least an hour walk in games. So that's one of our four hours remaining. But we'll try and go fast. We're looking for a road. We come out of here to the left and then right that way to the right side of that hill over here. This is a big wolf location though, so we'll keep the flare ready. But that right there, pop through there. Next thing you know, you're going to be on a road. Follow it all the way. 
all the way. And no wolf. So we lucky today, guys. Like I said, I need your support. Go, UTC, go. You got this. Bad cheerleading dancing. Thank you, Lai. I need it. I need to know you're excited for this finish. If you're watching this years later as a replay, I thank you for sticking with us through... I don't have the exact details. How long have we been going? Uh, a little under two hours, and we are pushing onto the finish line. So here is the road. It doesn't look much like a road, but this is it. It goes up over this hill and then curves off to the right. That's all we need to know. We follow it until we're ready to stim. And we're going to stim when we see a old farmer's fence on our left, right around there. And then we're going to use it to get up a massive hill that would otherwise be exhausting. We are going to sprint hard up that hill and push onto the finish line. Three hours, 45 minutes to go. Okay, the clock's slowed down a little bit. I feel better. <laughs> it was really, it was really flying by there for a minute on the way down Timberwolf, but we are on the back half. This is Pleasant Valley, and we need to make it to the Cinder Hills Coal Mine. So we go, yeah, we go past this barricade that's on the left, this uh, guardrail made of big logs. We push on through a couple of cabins, then we come to a fork in the road, and we follow it ahead and to the right. After that, we'll see the... It's gonna be tight, buddy. It's gonna be tight. Thank you for checking in. Didi's with his family and celebrating already, guys, for New Year's. It's l much later in Holland compared to here. The time is going to be tight. Three hours, 35 minutes to go. Pretty tight. But doable. If I find stims, uh, it's going to be close. I need to sh do this. I need to shave an hour off my back half. I'm going to need to shave an hour somewhere through here, which means I need to really find a couple of stims in the Cinder Hills coal mine. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Because we didn't get stim luck on the front half of the journey, so we need to get it on the second half. Let's hope. But the potential is still there, DD. It's not going to run out until we get to Desolation Point, and we're going to be close. It's going to be very, very close. It was having to brew that coffee. That was the... Having to brew that coffee and having no coffee on the front half. That's what really did, made it tough here. <clears throat> so here you go, guys. I told you we stay on this road. Eventually, we'll go between a couple of cabins. Then after that is a fork in the road. And it's not a true fork. We kind of go just ahead and to the right instead of back and to the left. So stick with me. We'll get another cup of coffee in us. Once I see that I'm on my final... 10 cups of coffee or whatever. We'll save those for after the stim, just in case. And we're going to veer right here, guys. I normally stay on this road, but we're going to avoid a wolf. He's right over there. We're going to try and avoid him entirely. But the weather's perfect. Okay, we don't want to go down there, I don't think. We just need to avoid him. Yeah, well, it's New Year's Eve <clears throat> today, if anybody's watching this in the distant future. So everybody's getting ready to celebrate. I had no plans, but it sounds like I'm going to hop on and spend part of the, the afternoon, at least, with uh, the geeks on the, disc on the uh, ARC servers, which I haven't played ARC in a while, so that'll be fun. <clears throat> we have a tradition called the Death Run. I might end up streaming again, guys. I'm not sure what the plan is, but... Or recording it. Maybe I'll record it. I need some editing to do in the near future. Alright, so we use all the stamina we've got at our disposal, guys. You can see that wheel is still full of coffees. If I check again, we should be almost... Yeah, okay, so now we have eight left. Seven left. So we're going to save those for after we've stimmed. This is the last cup of coffee before the stim. Yeah, DD, it's going to be like 24 hours and 22 minutes or something. I feel like I'm not going to make it in time. We got three hours to go. But. But if I can get off Pleasant Valley fast enough. We will see, guys. We shall see. 
We'll get one more. Oh no, there's our chain link fence. So here we go. Uh, inventory, medicals. We're gonna fire up this. <sighs> And we'll use the energy drink on the ice if we don't find any stims in this coal mine. But we're hoping to find stims in this coal mine. So as soon as this wolf sees me, I'm going to light up a flare, knowing that we're headed into a mine. And he will see us. There's no avoiding that. Okay. So up we go, guys. A long haul. If you don't have coffee and you don't have a stim, this is like an hour-long journey. We're going to try and turn it into a 20-minute journey and cut some time off of our our, uh, our our goal. We just want it to last to the top of this hill. If it, if it dies after that, I'm fine. We'll do one cup of coffee when it runs out and we'll see if we find two more stims inside this place. One at least, but you can find two. You can totally find two in here. Okay, push that sprint. You can make it up this hill, go hard. This is a super valuable time to do it, if you ask me, guys. We did it. We did it. Look at that. We did it. Good job, us. Good job. So that's my strategy. See the chain link fence? Fire it up, and it should die right around here. Once we get inside, I'll coffee. And then we check to see. Maybe we get lucky, and there's a couple of stim shots in here. If not, we're an energy drink and a few hours to the finish line. Hopefully not several hours. Let's see what our clock says here. We have two hours and 38 minutes left. It's possible. Drink. Okay, now the key while we're in here is, did we get any stims? I can't remember where Dynamic found his last time. I think one of them was here, so no luck. And then we push on. There are three stops in here, and each of them has a stim chance, I think. Oh, I made a wrong turn? No. Okay, so this is a chance at a stim right here. Didn't get one. Okay. There might be one just beside that box. So we got two more chances. This mine is great. We got a med kit coming up here uh, nothing of value here so don't even stop if you're trying to make good time now I'm thinking about sp I spent too much time in the dam or whatever like one or two little things could give us just the time we need but we can still do it it's still doable here friends all right, and we follow this up into the chain link fence room. In here is a med kit and a chance of a stim either in there or on the shelf next to it. And we got lucky. Boom. And did we get another one? Come on, could I be so lucky? Nope, we got one more chance. So this mine is great for this race. It's kind of a the key to the back half if things go your way. Why does this, this doesn't feel right? Is this the way to go? This does not feel right. Yes, this is it. Okay, we're out. So, chance of a stim right here on the shelf. Oh, no. Right here. But we didn't find one, so let's go. Okay, so we got one stim and one energy drink. We're going to do the stim first. And the energy drink second. Actually, we'll save the energy drink for later. We'll just use the one stim across here. And then we'll, we'll, we'll decide what's next coffee give us a little boost before we have to stim and now we take sort of an aggressive route down the mountainside I still have five flares so I'll start a new one when we get into wolf territory guys but uh, as soon as I come out of this mine I go down here to the right and we just take a hard descent down this hill I'm pretty good at this one by this point it's pretty hard for me to sprain anything I just kind of take a back and forth angle down it Instead of hopping and jumping down it, this is just faster. All right. And I can't even sprint now anyway, so we don't have to be too careful. But if you've ever skied, just take it like you're skiing. Follow one of the, the paths that doesn't look too intimidating, and you won't hurt yourself. All right. 
and if we can wait till we're on the ice, if we don't attract the attention of a wolf, then we will uh, wait to burn our flare, but we're going to fire a stim to get a big chunk of time across this lake. After that, it will be just energy drinks and coffees to the finish line. But, wolf heavy region right here. Very wolf heavy. So you come down, you look for these pylons that stick out of the water. No wolves, where are they all? And we sort of make a line across here, this direction. In kind of, in the foggy weather, you can kind of aim for the furthest thing you can see. If you can see a ice fishing hut out here, you might as well aim for it. Okay, use it. All right, and we'll fire up a flare. But yeah, see that ice? Uh, I don't see one, never mind. So we're gonna put that one on our left and we're just gonna keep going till we see island. Otherwise, you have to take, there you go, there's a new ice fishing hut. If there's one there, it means we're not gonna run out of good ice and I can see land all the way out here. That's where we're gonna aim. All right, another ice fishing hut. This is an island. We're gonna take the back side of it. And I can't check my time while I'm sprinting because shift tab means, means something to steam that's gonna pull up my overlay. But once this sprint runs out, we will check it again and we'll see how close we are. It's gonna be an hour and a half to go. It's gonna be really tight, guys. <laughs> gonna be really tight. Drama, New Year's Day drama, New Year's Eve drama. All right, we got a little bit more time. We should make it just to the back edge of this island. If you see off to my right, guys, that's thin ice. The ice ends and there's open water. So we basically want a straight line, I think, from here, maybe a little bit to the left, and we're looking for land. Uh, it'll emerge out of the fog or sometimes a brutal storm. There you go. So let's fire up immediately our energy drink. Why not? Because it's going to leave us drained as well. And I can sprint right away. So we're going to do that. Keep that big chunky ice off to your right. You do not want to go that too far that way. And we're going to make it for that land that we see up ahead as soon as I see... Yes. See that big curved rock? We can go right to the, le the left of that. That's the road and the way out of this region. And hopefully we've just saved some time. But I had two stims here last time, but it was a brutal storm. So once the energy drink's gone, we are uh, back to coffee, and we'll coffee the whole way home. Sprint as often as we can, never let it build up to full and just sit there. And I think this is where I need to be. I'll tell you in a second, friends. Once I see through this fog. Uh, up here, actually. The road goes past here and ends back in there, so we don't go this way. That's the rock I was looking for we want to go just to the left of. I took a really good line across the ice. This was good. One hour, 20 minutes remaining. I didn't take very good notes on this chunk of the journey, did I? Looking for my proper notes. Why, why don't I have anything after Pleasant Valley? It took me three hours from the mine. Which mine, though? What a mess. It's gonna be so tight, guys. We got one hour. We've gotta get through the Broken Highway, it's called. At the end of that is a mine, and at the end of that is Desolation Point. I don't know that we're going to make it. <laughs> I don't know that we're going to be able to make it, friends. Keep the coffee flowing. We can do two in this region, two in the mine, and one on the way out. <clears throat> Okay, the energy drink has worn off. I 
Oh boy. Well, 60 minutes to go. Three regions. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be so close, guys, but we're not gonna make it. Are we? We can't make it. You gotta be fast. We've had a beautiful weather. I just didn't get... If I had one more stim... One more. 25 hour speed run. That doesn't have a ring to it. That doesn't have a ring to it, does it? But you can see how if we hadn't stopped to brew that coffee, that was over 40 minutes. We'd be in very good shape right now. Still time left on the first day. Failure is not an option. Yeah, good point. All right, and we follow around here, guys. Usually I follow the road through here, but we're trying to make absolutely the best possible time. So we're taking like as direct a route as I can find. Oh boy. Keep your distance. I want nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with you. Nothing, I say. Alright, and this is where we're headed. I'm gonna find my way up this mount this big rock and hop down. Okay, and up and over, I think. How did I do it last time? Like this. There we go. 39 minutes. Oh my gosh. How are we going to pull this off, guys? I can't even drink five cups of coffee, four, four more cups of coffee in 30 minutes. Okay. Maybe we'll find a stim in here. I don't think so. This spot has nothing of value. No, nope, don't need it. Let's roll. Oh, just watching the, uh, the life tick out on us, guys. I can't do it. It's too, too stressful. 22 watching live, and you're going to watch me not quite make it in 24 hours. This will be my third best run. Left and down. When in doubt, left and down. Left and down. Except right here where I go up and right. <laughs> okay, and we skip through this region. Oh, 27 minutes, guys. But once we come out of here, that's it. Once we come out of here, that's literally it. We're at the end. It's a short run. Get another cup of coffee in me up here. And then two for the back half. Okay, and out to the right. Oh, the drama's tense. Man, I'm gonna cut it close, aren't I? Okay, here's the exit. We don't need that flare anymore, unless there's a stim here. No. Leave. And we got a blizzard. I believe. Tell me if this isn't a blizzard. Oh no, good. Okay. Okay, we gotta get up and over this. And we gotta descend this as efficiently as possible. We gotta take a few risks, guys. We got lots of life to play with. We just don't wanna have to stop to heal anything if we can avoid it. Oh, that, like that. Okay, all right. Oh, 12 minutes. We're not going to make it. Heal. This is going to take four minutes to do up your bandages. And heal. And drink coffee. Ten minutes? Is that what it said? Nine minutes. Okay. I don't think it can be done, guys. We're very close. <laughs> We're so close. Oh, five minutes. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Get this in me. Why not? 
four minutes. One minute. Oh, guys. Well, this is a proof positive that it can be done. You can see we're going to finish about eight minutes after the 24-hour mark. I don't have one, buddy. I don't have one. No luck. But this is our destination. We got here with full health. Totally warm. I got more food than we'll ever need. That's our destination. We're going to finish a few minutes after. We're definitely going to finish. It will be the best time I've ever shown on the channel. Um, but we're just going to miss the mark of the, the title of the video, which is 24-hour speed run. Speed run. Uh, am I lost? No, right here. So, we could, we, even with the stem, we wouldn't have made it. We were close. It was that coffee, really. It was the stem on the front half. If I didn't have to sit and brew coffee for 45 minutes, we're cruising in here and easy, easily. Or give me coffee on the front half. Same thing could have happened. Yeah, but anyway, guys, so there you go. This was no coffee. We got no coffee until after the farmhouse. Had you gotten it beforehand, easy. We also got only two stims and one energy drink. Had we found one extra of either of those things, we would have shaved 40 minutes off our time, and we would have made it quite easily to this finish in 24 hours. But this is, to be fair, guys, this is a 24-hour, 19-minute run. Still technically 24 hours, right? Right? Even if, even if it was 24.59, does that count? Anyway, it's round down, okay, my friends? Round down. Still, it's a very good run, Uber. I've gotten exceedingly good at this. Chance of a stim here, since we're not going to make it in time anyway. Nope, nothing. Just figured we'd get one last shot of drugs in our system. I'm a pure junkie. So there you go, my friends. That's how we do it. That is how you do a 24-hour run. Obviously, we're going to miss it by 25-ish minutes. But if you've watched this whole thing, you can see exactly where I could save half an hour. I can't see it clearly now, but there's a couple of places where luck of the draw or a couple changes by me. There you go. One day, 27 minutes. So we came a little bit short, my friends, but that was really fun. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. If you watch this in the future and you appreciate this, know I've done it. Um, and I recorded this 23-hour session, so I might edit it into a tips and tricks video for how to do it. I feel like once you have an expertise at something in a game, you should share it. That's one of the times to make a tutorial like I used to do with building an arc. Uh, or I've done with other games. I did one for Fallout. That's one of my most popular videos ever, Fallout 76. And that just happened to be, hey, I found something cool. Let me show you. So I think I might turn that 23-hour run into a video for all y'all. If you happen to watch this and you were looking for tips and tricks, I'll link that at the end of this when it's done and exists. Uh, for anybody who's a member of the Geeks, I will see you later this afternoon. I'll join you for the death run and we'll see what happens after that. Uh, and uh, for anyone else, just have a great 2021. Uh, 2020 has been rough on all of us. It's been a really remarkable, singular year. Nothing in my life has been quite like it, and it's really tested me, as I'm sure it has you. Um, I am a big fan of 2021 and the potential it holds for all of us. And for me, with this YouTube channel, getting back to making this my my passion project which it was for a long time so i'm enjoying this late return to sharing my gaming life with you guys uh, it's so much better than playing by myself in loneliness so i i'm i'm very much appreciated and i'm gonna go spend some time with uh, the patrons and play some arc today which i haven't done in a long time so i'm excited for that uh this might be the last this is definitely my last I would say my last stream of the year. I might record some of the Patreon stuff today. But there is a chance I stream that instead if that's what a rally's doing. So stay tuned if you're looking for a little company on New Year's Eve afternoon. Uh, that's it. Guys, thank you for watching. We almost did it 27 minutes short, but I'm not going to complain about that. That's a pretty good run. Uh, and Dynamic D still can't touch that, right? I mean, he beat me two out of three, but the man can't touch that time. Can't touch it. Bring it, buddy. 2021 challenge see if you can touch that time
right? All right. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm loving the game and loving spending time with all y'all. That's it for today. And um, stay tuned for maybe a stream later. But at the very least, I'll see you in 2021. Bye, guys.